This video is absolutely insane. I maxed my livid boss collection, did a ton of M4 and M6 runs, and I lost millions of coins to a Skyblock NPC. I actually streamed this all like about a month ago, so if you want to check me out live, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss these live streams. I should probably not be in max or boots, so we'll have our Necron boots out just in case. I think one of the reasons M4 clear is so much easier compared to M5 is because M4 you don't have fells, and fells are difficult. Okay, I'm gonna help Blood Rush just because these guys are not not con have not convinced me that they're the greatest of gamers. This is gonna be a very bad first run, but hopefully they get. Wait, do we not have a blood camp? Oh, we don't even have a mage. You know what? Sub four minutes. I'm I'm disappointed, but I think we're gonna chill with this party a little bit because I only need like five runs. Okay, I, I'm so close that I don't think like a couple minutes is gonna matter in the grand scheme of things. I think I've got enough damage. Okay, I'm just gonna ult here to make sure I don't die. I didn't really need. To. Jeez, I obliterated that uh, archaeologist. Is my DPS actually crazy as a tank? Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, I'm insane. Yeah, this is tank DPS. What the heck? This is absolutely insane. Normally, I oh, I think I'm just used to playing M7 because I started playing M7 recently because people in my guild asked if I wanted to play as tank and I was like, sure, I'll play M7 tank if you need someone. Because tank is probably... I don't want to say one of the easiest classes, but it's definitely one of the ones that you don't have to have like Cata 50 or anything for, you know? You don't have to have crazy good stuff, you know what I mean? So as long as I can live as tank in M7, then I'm chilling. And I swear, if they don't go to portal this time, I'm actually going to be sad. Where is... Nope, he's doing the gyro thing. And he doesn't have enough DPS. This is Party Finder, okay? This is how you know it's Party Finder. Also, we're going, we're trying to level Hecatomb on our Spirit Mask for M7, so we're actually going to be switching to that at the end of each run, because I don't care too much about this Cata XP. I'm really in it for the collections. Speaking of collection, we are three runs away from uh, maxing our collection there. I don't like having my solver on for this puzzle, because I try to have as few solvers as possible because I actually find it very fun to do the puzzles. And I'm not even throwing because I'm actually, see how clean I am? You know, after this run, I think I might just leave and do my 1000th so I have the clean 1000 and I'll do it on my own like an F5. Alright, let's see. Come on, let's get it. 1000. 1,000. Okay, we we got the thousandth diamond, livid, whatever you want to call it. Let's see if we can get anything good from it. Nothing. Okay. And you know what? It doesn't really matter that much. We, we got our thousandth run. Now we have livid maxed out, sedan maxed out, and necron all maxed out. So we've got these three we just need to work on thorn professor scarf and bonzo i've done quite a bit of bonzo and thorn i haven't done too much of scarf and the professor so i guess we can get started on that next necron tanking for m5 isn't necessary because you're not really dpsing anyways like m6 m and m7 necron tanking makes sense but for m5 it doesn't matter Ooh, zombie soldier, or yeah, zombie soldier helmet. It's always nice to get 50%. They don't really matter. I got a 50% um, skeleton master chest plate yesterday, though. Or not yesterday, the day before, I think. That was pretty cool. That's the one annoying thing about streaming dungeons sometimes. It's very hard to read chat, because if I read chat in the middle of the run, I'm throwing. So I have to ignore chat for like two to three minutes until we get to boss. And it's sad. Okay. I definitely should not have gotten stuck there. That is cringe. And there's no M4 parties. Nice. All right. Well, let's let's see if there's M6. 
see, my only goal for M6 is to get a sub 4. If we can get a sub 4, I don't care. If we can get a sub 330, now that's what that's where it's at. But I don't mind as long as we get a sub 4. If we don't get a sub 4, that's when I start having issues. CT load. Oh my gosh, you're a genius. And now Soupy's working. Bro, you you are... See, I don't know enough about mods. All I know is that, um... Yeah, that's all I know. <laughs> See, it's so nice to be Archer and actually have DPS. Like, going from tank to Archer, it's a world of difference. Like, playing, playing a class that has no DPS to playing the class that is the DPS. <laughs> Like, I didn't realize how good Explosive Shot was, but Explosive Shot, like, kills everything. Like, jeez. I also love Archer because combat XP is crazy. Like, my G-Drag has gone up so many levels this fall. This is rough. You know, runs were so much nicer earlier today. We were getting, getting like, three-minute M4s. We're, 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 we're leaning back, you know, I'm, I'm chilling. We're not, we're not tryharding anymore, okay? The parties aren't tryharding, therefore I'm not tryharding. We're, we're leaned back in my chair, I brought my microphone back. We're chilling. Multiple dead people. We have five deaths! Five deaths! Bro! Give me these revive stones. Let's see if M4 has got parties. So the thing is, there's a glitch in dungeons where if you have a full inventory and you get like, so let's say we're doing M4, right? So when you're playing M4, the spirit bow goes to the ninth slot, which is essentially replaces the, the map. Now, in order to get quiver arrows, if this slot here is full, what, what it'll do is it'll take, it'll take quiver arrows and put them in this slot right here. Now there's a slight problem where occasionally, if you have a full inventory, and you have an item here, and you get quiver arrows, it goes to this slot here and will replace whatever item is here, and you lose it forever. Now, I didn't know this was a thing until just yesterday, or maybe the day before, one of the people in my dungeon party, like my perm party, he was playing, and what happened was he lost his spring boots to that glitch. And he's like, I thought it was fixed, yada yada, stuff like that. So he lost, like, essentially 200 or 250 mil, however much spring boots are. And I was like, dang, that is crazy. So now when I play dungeons, even if I'm not picking anything up, like if I'm playing M5, there's nothing in M5 that you have to worry about. But I have this here just in case, just because I don't want to lose any of my items. Even though I almost never have a full inventory because I'm way more cautious. And I, like, salvage stuff, have backpacks, my sacks, the leaders. I almost never have a full inventory, so it's not that big of a deal. Ooh, 50% soul steal, though. But just in case, I've always got that. Because I don't want to lose hundreds of millions of coins and items because of a glitch. Like, I, I do not want that happening to me. I wish that Hecatomb would apply, like, to the high- Like, you don't have to be wearing the helmet that has Hecatomb 10. As long as it's, like, in your inventory, it'll apply the Hecatomb 10. Because then I don't need to get, like, Hecatomb 10, Hecatomb 10, Hecatomb 10, Hecatomb 10. You know what I mean? I feel like it would just be nicer if it was, like, an accessory or something for Hecatomb. Not, like, the helmet. But I, I, see, I see why. It's just annoying that I have to get Hecatomb 10 on so many different things. Like, jeez. In the top left of the screen. Yo, thank you, Oscar Warrior, for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. See, now that you subscribed, it power it fuels me. So now, now watch, watch how clean. I'm gonna get the cleanest. Watch first try, ghost pick. Boom! Unbelievable, incredible trap skip. I am going insane. Watch this. Oh, okay. oh wait, no, no. Watch this. <laughs> Boom! Immediately goes, knows exactly where the secret is, kills the bat, gets the wither essence, just like that. Absolutely crazy. Watch this. And then I go into this room. Room downloaded. I know exactly where I am. We're gonna get this. Easy. And then we're gonna go over here. Zoom. We're zooming. What the heck? That was intentional because I knew it was on cooldown and then I jump back. Clean. And then watch this. I go up. I go bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam. 
Look, I am zooming. This is what happens when you subscribe to the channel. I get a speed boost. I get, I get a Ringo whenever... <laughs> okay, I should probably shouldn't say that. Um, okay, I missed that secret. See, that's how you can tell I'm not on a Ringo, because I'm bad. <laughs> See, the thing about update coverage videos is that you either have to be the one of the first YouTubers out so that, like, people... There's not other content out there that people can look to. Or you post a video about something unique that no one else saw and that's really what I have to look for because if I post an update video saying guys this is the update so many other youtubers are going to do that I always suggest people get as many accessory and talisman as you can with your money because that'll suit you and be good for you in any aspects of the game you go in like if I buy a dungeon set that's only good in dungeons I mean technically yo spirit bone more profit if I bought gold or armor, gold or armor isn't an armor you use outside of dungeons. Gold or armor is something I only use as a tank in dungeons. If I'm not a tank in dungeons, that gold or armor is not I'm, is not getting used. It's not valuable if I'm not a tank in dungeons. Now, if I were to instead buy more accessories and talisman, then those accessories and talisman, that magical power converts to outside dungeons. Because when I'm in dungeons, I get more crit chance, I get more strength, I get more damage. And then when I'm outside of dungeons, I get more intelligence, I get more speed, I get more strength if I'm farming and need to use my mushroom cow. See that, that, the, not the accessory, the, um, the magical power is more beneficial in more scenarios. So it's more useful to have overall, if that makes sense. Any good methods to make coins this early? I usually tell people to go do farming, but I think that now, honestly, do whatever you enjoy and make money off of it. Like if you enjoy dungeons, go do dungeons. If you enjoy slayers, go do slayers. If you enjoy mining, go do mining. If you enjoy farming, then do farming. Just do, find what you enjoy and do that for money. My top recommendations are farming, mining, and slayers. Actually, no, slayers aren't good for money. Uh, farming, mining, and summoning eyes. Summoning eyes are actually crazy right now. If you can, if you can one-tap zealots, then that'll make good money. If you can one-tap zealot bruisers, that's even better money. Like at the very start of the game, just focus on general progression. You really shouldn't worry about coins until after you like made it a decent way through the game. Bizarre flipping and bingo okay so bizarre flipping is money but i think bizarre flipping is kind of lame and you don't get the experience of the game through bizarre flipping so yes it makes a bunch of money do bingo bingo makes bank actually yeah try a bingo profile but my suggestion is if it's your first bingo event look up a guide like a video tutorial or and have the bingo guide with you or have someone that already has played bingo before helping you out like the bingo discords will help you a ton if you're new to bingo all right so this the way this works is croesus will have all the chests from dungeons that you've had in like let's say the past uh, well it is the past 48 hours so in the past 48 hours i've each chest represents a dungeon run in the past 48 hours Okay, that's actually not as much as I thought it was. 1, 4, 28, 56. That's what, 7 hours ago? Today I've done like 50 dungeons. No, I did dungeons yesterday. Where are my chests from yesterday? Does Croesus have a cap? Wait. No, please don't tell me I've been throwing. Hold on. Please don't tell me I've been throwing, because that cap's out at 50. No! Wait. 
Wait. Okay, I don't think it's registering all my chests. Wait, no. No. I'm gonna cry. No, my profit! <laughs> my profit! Okay, I'm taking this downtime. His cap is 100. 4 times 7. 28. Then why is it capped at 50? 60 chests. Wait, hold on. 1. 7. That's 28. So this is 28. 28. 56, 60, you're right, it is 60. I can't math, so I have 60. Okay, we're gonna test this. This run right here, M6, I dropped a recom. This one, I dropped a fuming. So I dropped a recom and then a fuming. So this next run, we're gonna check I'm- I just dropped Recom Fuming in that order. Okay. Recom Fuming. Recom Fuming. Oh my gosh. I It caps at 60. Croesus caps at 60. <sighs> you know what? That sucks. That really sucks. It's not even like like, I don't even know how much I lost. I've got to have lost at least, like, 50 million coins. Because that's all my dungeon runs from yesterday. All gone. And the day before, probably, too. All that dungeon. And I've probably been doing that for so long, because I get to two, to two um, pages and four. And I think, oh, I thought I did more dungeons than that. I did do more dungeons than that. The game doesn't register the amount of dungeons. I do too much dungeons for the game to register. I am so glad I claimed this giant sword the other day, because if I didn't claim that giant sword, that would have been 140 mil lost to that same, not even bug, but like, why is Croesus capped at 60? That's such a stupid number. Why would he be capped at 60 and not 100? Why? That's that's sad. I've not because that's not just the money I've lost yesterday from yesterday. I've lost so much more money to that NPC because I have not been claiming my chests enough. I have not been claiming my chests that often because I've gone to those I've gone to 60 runs multiple times on Croesus during Paul and like just playing dungeons. Yeah, so basically, I've not only have I lost the million, the tens of millions of coins yesterday, but I've lost so many more loot. No, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I, I gotta, I gotta go claim my chest, bro. Bro, I gotta claim these chests before I lose more of them, bro. And now that chest is gone too. It's... It's capped at 60 chests. You know, there's a silver lining to this. Even though I've lost tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of coins in profit, I can at least cope in the fact that I have both gained XP and the fact that I don't have to pay for every dungeon I join. So at the bare minimum, it could be worse. 
That's that's my copium to say that it's bad, but it could be worse. Wow, this is a discovery, and I'm glad I learned this sooner rather than later. Because literally, if if I didn't, if that person didn't call for downtime and I didn't show you guys how many chests I had, I would have lost what eight million coins right there, or something. I would have lost like five million. That's rough. Fine. Let me get the forums page up because. This is this is scam. High pixel sky block. Croesus cap. Keep up to sixty runs. Bruh. Well, uh, anyone, anyone want to join a pity party? <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's what I'm, it, not a dungeon party, a pity party. Okay guys, we've, we've opened all our chests from today's session. Keep in mind, I've done over 60 dungeons today. 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 That's crazy. I, I've done enough dungeons today to fill Croesus. I want to just play dungeons normally and cry. <laughs> Those are the two things I want to do right now, okay? See, you didn't make this profit. Ooh, boom, 14 mil. Ooh, let's go. Second Master Star. Easy, baby. Get more RNG meter. Get another Master Star. That's, I think, our fourth Master Star this stream. We are racking up quite the collection, bro. Oh wait, yeah, I forgot I forgot to add all the master stars. That's what four master stars is like another 48 mil. So we made like a hundred million coins today. Let's go. Yeah, we're there's no M4 parties. We could try to find like M3 or something. Yeah, those are just underleveled parties. I think we're gonna call it here. We had a very successful stream. We went through all the emotions. We went through joy, we went through victory, we went through heartbreak, we went through sadness. But you know. I think this is a great place to end it. We made lots of profit, lost lots of profit. You know how it is. We got our 1000th M5 run for our livid collection, which is pretty cool. And we got a lot of progress through uh, Thorn Collection. So uh, on this note, just, just to remember, this stream was successful. We did do good stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, we are going to be ending the stream. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the very end. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, wait, no, I want to end it on this. And then we, we have, like, a cinematic, like, background, like, like that, like, ending stream. Like, you know how those big streamers have, like, that, like, that cool animatic or, like, cool, like, end page that's, like, they have music playing? That's this music. And then there's, like, the subscribe in the corner and then a new video on the bottom right. And I'm like, yeah, you're jamming out to the music and you're like, all right, time to go watch more of this YouTuber's content because I love them so much. Speaking of which, everyone in the channel, go watch, like, videos and stuff. I don't know. Just click on my channel, click on my icon, and 